Well, hey there, guys. It's Mike from Just Car People Things, and I have to tell you, it's the least wonderful time of the year. I'm not going to sing you the song. Uh, but tonight, we are going to be removing our uh, Camaro 1LE uh, fun tires, and we're going to go to our winter tires, which is hugely depressing. Uh, I've got the heat on here in the garage. It's uh, probably about 35 degrees out, and uh, that is not an environment where these Goodyear Supercar 3s are going to be uh, something that I could uh, trust my life with. So we're going to pull, pull them off the car. We've got our uh, DeWalt uh, Impact. If you don't have one of these, they're an awesome investment. You get to pretend like you're a NASCAR pit crew guy, uh, just zipping things off. Uh, I've got the appropriate size uh, socket here, and it's got a piece of Delrin on the outside of the socket. These are about 30 or $40. I really like them because it keeps you from ripping up your nice wheels when this thing's spinning around really fast. So uh, we're going to uh, get working on this. I'm going to bring down the uh, tires that are sitting up there uh, that are up in the storage loft and be able to uh, unbolt these, get them on the car. First thing we're going to do is we're going to lift the Camaro up uh, just so it's a little bit off the ground. I've got a bridge jack hiding underneath there. We'll probably do the rears first because the bridge jack's in the back and then we'll slide the bridge jack forward, lift up the front, and pull the front wheels off. So not really rocket science, not really anything that's super mega, unbelievable, exciting, but uh, just want to take a few minutes and uh, you know share that we're working on the car and uh, out here in the garage, and there's nothing like having a nice heated garage uh, in an environment uh, where it's 30 or 40 degrees out, and you can get it up to 60, 70 degrees in here, and you know be working in a shirt and just be very comfortable. So uh, all that said, uh, we're going to get these off here. We're going to buzz them off. Uh, first thing we're going to do is actually going to pop socket off there. We're going to get our big, uh, big long three foot breaker bar uh, and be able to uh, just pop all these uh, lug nuts loose. They're a pretty high torque lug nut. I think the spec is like 140 foot pounds. So any opportunity to get in there and, you know, wheel this loose is going to be the way to do it uh, first before you rely on this when the car is already up in the air and wheels will start spinning and stuff like that. But anyways, we'll be back with you guys in a minute here as we uh, continue through our process. All right, we're back here. We got the uh, rear wheel off and uh, we got some hockey on in the background because it's that time of the year. Uh, going through with uh, some fast dry silicone and just coating everything down. I'm out of fluid film, so we're going to uh, be doing that real quick. But uh, managed to get the rear tire off the car. We've got the front tire uh, or the old rear tire or the new rear tire, excuse me, the snow tire. Uh, sitting here, but uh, let me tell you, this is uh, uh, you here versus the uh, guy she told you not to worry about. So just to put it into perspective, this is a 305, 30, 20 inch tire. This is a 235 or 45, uh, 45 uh, tire. So, you know, that second number is the profile. So you got about 15 millimeters taller. And then in turn, you've got, you know, inches narrower. So uh, this gives you much better snow traction. It's going to let you cut into that snow a little bit better, but in terms of pure grip and performance, night and day. So that said, uh, not too terrible to take off. Uh, the lug nuts take a lot of torque on these cars. It's 140 foot pounds, so you got to get your big long breaker bar. Make sure you break them uh, either with the e-brake set or with the car up in the air. Uh, also a great time to do a quick inspection of the vehicle. Make sure that everything looks right. Your bushings aren't failing. Uh, check the status of your brake pads. These look good. Uh, even come through and take a rag and, and do a little detailing of your uh, your brake pads or your uh, brake uh, calipers. We uh, ceramic coated these and I love it because you can literally wipe them clean, which is just awesome. So you can get a little quick detailer and come in here and wipe this all down and clean it up. Get a little uh, silicone spray or whatever on it to kind of protect it uh, over the winter. I even took the uh, the nozzle and made sure to get into some of the little holes like right there, you know, and right here on top just to Make sure if you uh, have water getting in there that this WD or the silicone spray can kind of protect it from that. But that said, we're going to uh, just grab the other uh, snow tire here, pick it up. These guys weigh probably about 35 to 40 pounds. Uh, and just the great thing is, is with working like this, you can basically slot these almost straight on, which is fantastic. So I'm going to, you know, struggle through this a little bit and fight with it and pop pop the hub centering ring off, which I need. Make sure that's in the back there. If I can pretend to like look like I know what I'm doing here, which, you know, I try to. But this should be able to almost just slide straight on. So we'll fiddle with this a little bit and uh, we'll get it, uh, we'll get it bolted on. So we'll be back shortly. 
All right, so we're back and we're gonna just pop off the uh, the rear tire here and uh, we're gonna, you know, go lefty loosey, but just to give you an idea of how much force is involved to pop one of these loose. And that is the amount of noise involved with it. And uh, it is a little terrifying the first couple times you do it. So just something to be aware of. You kind of got to break these. The factory spec, again, 140 foot pounds, not uh, insignificant. So you got to kind of wail on them a little bit to get them loose. Now, once they are loose, the, uh, the impact will buzz them right off. But I like to do this sometimes by hand just because it feels a little, uh, little safer. So don't hesitate to you know use your body weight a little bit I was going the other way before but you can kind of jump on it a little bit and that'll get you that pop which is again a little terrifying but here's the last one just want to make sure you're going straight down with it and getting them loose so that'll allow you to come in be a nascar pit crewman hit reverse slap your socket on there buzz them right out that's gone forever. Not really. I'll just go pick it up. Sorry for the loud noise. It's going to be loud. That guy was pretty loose. So there we go. That's one loose 1LE tire. This guy will come off. Slide right off. And here we are again with uh, you versus uh, the guy she told you not to worry about. So we'll go through. We'll soak this down with, uh, with some silicone. Uh, we'll get the uh, new tire mounted up and square. So, cheers. All right, guys. Well, we're wrapping up here, uh, kind of round and third in this project, or uh, in the third period with our hockey game that's on here in the background. And uh, we've got our torque wrench here, and we've got our um, uh, lug nut adapter because these are the skinny lug nuts on our snow tires. These are much narrower um, uh, sort of openings to get in here. But uh, that said, we've got our torque wrench set at 140 foot-pounds. We're going to just slot that on. We're going to come down and just till we get the click. And you always go in a star pattern. And with five, so there's one. Come back up to here. Two, three. And then four right here. And then there's our fifth right there. So that's the job. Uh, these are not in the greatest of shape, but we really don't care that much because they're snow tires and they're going to be on the car for three or four months till we're through the crappy winter. And then we'll be good to go. So uh, this is uh, pretty much ready to go. I'd suggest if you're gonna do this, drive the car a little ways, go 20, 30, 40 miles, come home, do this again. No downside to doing this again. Uh, and just making sure we're all squared up and tight uh, and should be good to go. But uh, that said, uh, this is uh, winter mode engaged on our 1LE Camaro and we will certainly do some more videos of, uh, of our 1LE in the snow and going out and having fun and uh, hooning around uh, on these uh, hilariously skinny in comparison uh, tires. We're gonna get these guys washed up. We're gonna get all the uh, the brake dust off and you can see they've really got a lot of brake dust built up on them and, and kind of junk, but uh, they're ceramic coated. So it should be pretty easy to get them clean. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for uh, subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for commenting. Uh, everything you guys do in that regard uh, helps us with the channel and we really appreciate it. Have a great night.